Hi everyone, it's Kathy, your TOEFL teacher. A lot of you probably know me from my Facebook group, House of TOEFL. If you're not already a member, go ahead and join up. It's free and I post tips every day. I've been getting a lot of requests to discuss other sections of the TOEFL besides the speaking. So I'm here today to do that. What I wanna do is talk to you about the listening section and specifically the conversations that you will hear during the listening. Now, sometimes these conversations are to students, but a lot of the time, these conversations are between a student and a university employee. So a professor or a teaching assistant, a resident advisor, a coach of a basketball team, something like that. Now, with those types of conversations, the first question is almost always, why does the student go to see this university employee? So you have to be prepared to answer that question. Sometimes it's very easy to answer that question because it will be stated very directly in the beginning of the conversation. So it could be, excuse me, Professor Johnson, but do you have a minute? I'm really concerned about the upcoming midterm. So then it's simple. The answer will be, why does the student go to see her professor? She wants to discuss the upcoming midterm. Okay. So that's very simple. All you have to do is know that question's coming and make a note of it while you're listening. But sometimes it's indirect. So let's take this example. Perhaps a woman goes to see her basketball coach and she says, hi coach. Oh, hi Susan, nice to see you. How was the wedding? Oh, it was beautiful. My sister got married on the beach. My whole family was there. I just feel sad because I missed so many practices. Don't worry, family's very important. So, uh, how have things been going? Well, there's been some changes while you've been away. Oh, really? Like what? And then the coach will go on to tell her what has changed while she was away. The answer for that question, when you get to why does the woman go to see her coach, will be to find out any changes that occurred while she was out of town. So it's not quite as direct as my first example. But the main thing that you can do as the student who's listening to this conversation is to expect this question and to make a note somewhere in your notes why this conversation is happening, okay? Because I can pretty much guarantee you that this is going to be a question. So be ready for it. Okay, so again, if you're not already in, in House of TOEFL on Facebook, go ahead and join. Also, you can watch my YouTube videos about the speaking by just simply going to YouTube and putting in Kathy TOEFL and speaking as your keywords. And you'll find me and you can subscribe to my channel there. And of course, as always, good luck on your TOEFL. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.